Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Reese Minimap for 1.5. Um, this will just be a how to install this mod, so if you guys are interested in what the mod is actually about and what's in the mod, there will be a mod review uh, right up here in the top left hand corner. There will be an annotation up there, so you guys can click on that and you guys can go and watch my video. I show you guys what's in the mod and what it's all about. Um, if you guys can't click on annotations, um, there, there will be a link in the description, so you guys can click on that to also watch my mod review on that so anyway we're going to get to um, installing this mod so if you guys go to the link in the description where it says Reez mini map for 1.5 um it will take you right to this website so this is the website for the Reez mini map if you scroll all the way down you're going to see this download so it's going to say download Reez mini map for 1.5 right here and you guys can download that right there so once you guys have downloaded that and put it on your desktop you guys are ready to install um also another thing that i'm going to show you guys how to install is optifine Optifine is not required for this mod in any way, but it does help with your Minecraft lag, so that's why I'm going to be installing it. Um, like I said, again, it is not required for Reef Minimap. So Reef Minimap, um, um, okay, <laughs> forget Reef Minimap. Anyway, uh, so I want you guys to go to uh, Minecraft. So if you click on this Minecraft, and uh, as soon as it opens, go to Options, Force Update Your Game, click Done, and Log In. Um, the reason why I'm Force Updating my game, updating my game is because I have mods already installed, and I don't know if Reese Minimap is compatible with those mods. So if I don't force update my game, and you know if it, if I leave those mods installed, um, I might get a black screen. And if uh, after I install Reese Minimap, and if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because you guys didn't install the mod correctly, or you guys didn't force update your game. Um, I always recommend uh, backing up your files. So um, if you guys aren't gonna force update, make sure you guys keep a copy so that way in case you get a black screen. Uh, your Minecraft game wasn't uh, broken or you know whatever so anyway once you guys have forced updated your game um, as soon as it logs out of this Mojang uh, thing right here I don't know why it's taking so long um, for me like in 1.4.7 it was never taking this long but for 1.5 um, the Mojang site right there just takes forever to log into the Minecraft so anyway uh, once force updating is done um, you guys can exit out of Minecraft always make sure your Minecraft is closed when installing mods okay so on the bottom left hand corner you're going to see the percent app data percent right here. Um, so for Windows 8 users when you click on start you're going to see the run, you're going to click on run, or you're going to type in run or whatever. But anyway I'm using Windows 7. So if you guys uh, start right here and you guys type in percent A P P D A T A that's percent app data and another percent you're going to see this roaming folder right here. So if you click on the roaming folder you're going to see this Minecraft right here. So this is the dot Minecraft folder. So if you open the dot minecraft folder you're going to see bin resources and bins mod resources and whatever so if you click on bin and you're going to see this minecraft executable jar file right here so if you try to open this um, it's going to say hey we can't open okay so if you right click on minecraft and open this with winrar you are able to open it now you can also open it with 7-zip or any other kind of file opener like that but i use winrar so that's what i'm going to show you guys um, if you guys do not already have winrar installed there will be a link in the description so you guys can go and download that and install it. Um, so once you guys have my Minecraft WinRAR installed, uh, just make sure you rewatch that. And uh, uh, so once you're here, um, if you go percent at percent and all that stuff. So anyway, once you guys have the Minecraft that jar open with WinRAR, you're gonna see this Minecraft folder right or meta imp folder right here. Sorry, you're gonna want to delete meta imp. So once you have deleted meta imp, just push yes. Um, the reason why we delete meta imp is because it does not allow uh, mods to run in your game so make sure you guys have meta inf deleted now you're, you're going to want to open Reese minimap and you're going to see all these folders right here you're just going to right click select all and drag all these files into the minecraft.jar that you open with winrar push ok and you're done now that is completely done with how to install that mod now i'm going to also show you guys how to install optifine not because it is required for this mod but because it helps the minecraft lag so if you select all drag all these files into there and you are done now that is completely done with the installation for that mod and what I'm going to show you guys again if you guys want to see what's in the mod click on that link in the top left hand corner